Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. This is the second of a series of three videos where I focus on training a vision transformer model on Amazon SageMaker. In the first video, I showed you how to build a data set from uh, images stored in S3, okay, using a, a SageMaker processing job that fetched the images, pre-processed them, extracted features, uh, and uh, saved everything as Hugging Face data sets to S3, okay? So now, uh, picking up from there, we're going to train um, using SageMaker and a training script written uh, with the Transformers library and the Trainer API, and we're gonna run that script inside the Hugging Face uh, container on SageMaker, okay? So let's get started. So first, of course, I install the SageMaker SDK, make sure you have the latest version so that you can use the, the latest uh, containers as well. Um, and the first step is to define the location of the data sets that we processed uh, with SageMaker processing, okay? So we have a training set, we have a validation set, and we have a test set, right? So these are the three inputs to our training job. Um, I have some uh, hyperparameters in my training script, um, and there are more where we'll take a look in a minute. Uh, so here we're going to train for three epochs and we want to train with this model. Okay, I could use a different uh, vision transformer model if we wanted. So uh, this is my training script uh, and uh, again, we'll take a look at it in a minute. Uh, the rest is really uh, SageMaker as usual. We uh, import the hugging face estimator. Uh, we pass the location of the script, the hyperparameters which version of the Transformers library we want to use, which PyTorch version we want to use, which Python version we want to use. And I believe these are the latest values or um, the most recent versions at uh, the time of recording. And uh, the infrastructure you want to use for training. So here I'm going to use a pretty cost-efficient G4DN2XL instance. It has a single GPU, but as we're fine-tuning, uh, it's, it's more than enough, okay? Uh, and then I just call fit, passing the three data sets um, that, we, um, uh, that we have uh, processed in the previous video, okay? So the training code I'm using here is actually uh, a ready-made example that's uh, available in uh, one of the Hugging Face repos, and uh, Philip Schmidt wrote that, so thanks, Philip. And uh, I just did, did very minor changes, um, basically, you know, renaming uh, hyperparameters so that um, they would be exactly the same as my, uh, my PyTorch lightning example, which is the third video. Right? Uh, and, uh, and just a few more things, adding support for the test data set. But yeah, generally, you know, there are uh, uh, almost no changes here. So uh, if you're not familiar with the example here, what, what do we do here? Um, so this will run in the Hugging Face container on SageMaker. So as usual, we use script mode to pass hyperparameters and the location of the different data sets that we are going to load. We parse the arguments, uh, we load the data sets, right? And uh, these are hugging face data sets, so we can use load from disk, right? Uh, and uh, then we set up our metric, um, we download the model itself, okay? So we download the, uh, the vision transformer model that we selected. We change the labels uh, so that they match the, um, uh, the labels that we have in the data set. In this case, dog and cat. Okay, that's a pretty neat trick. Uh, and we set up the training arguments in the trainer API. So, you know, epochs, batch sizes, and so on. Okay, nothing, nothing really fancy here. We create a trainer object passing the model, the training arguments, the metrics, uh, the training set, the validation set, and we go and train. Okay. And once training is complete, we uh, run evaluation using the test data set. Finally, we write down results to a TXT file that will be part of the model artifact. And we save the model as well. Okay. So I did very few changes to this and, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. It saved me a lot of time. And uh, that's really why I also wanted to build 
um, my own data set as a, as a hugging face data set because you know any script that uses um, data set APIs like you know load from disk and so on is just gonna work right so uh, that's a really good way to to standardize your your training jobs using those data sets okay uh, so let's take a look at the training log so lots of stuff in there blah 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 right uh, well that's the sage drinker stuff okay and now we get to the actual script right we see the script being invoked three epochs with that model and you know off it goes right and it trains uh, it downloads the model first and then it goes and initializes weights and then you know it's gonna train yes and train and train and train let's get to the end of that okay and uh yeah we get to 98 percent accuracy and i guess that's that's okay i didn't tweak anything and we save the model and then we evaluate and yeah that's it right pretty cool and this lasted 918 seconds which is about yeah 15 minutes or something right and i didn't use spot instances here but yeah, you know, i guess you you can do that to save a bit of money and finally, once um, the model has been uploaded to S3, uh, you can find its location here. And we can go and copy it to our local environment and extract it. And it's what it is, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a PyTorch model and we see the checkpoints and we see the evaluation results, etc., etc. right? Uh, so the next step would be to go and deploy but at the moment the hugging face container doesn't support deploying um, uh, image classification tasks so um, summing things up uh, super simple um, the trainer api and the data set api just make it very simple to to train on SageMaker. Um, this trainer code here is just vanilla code so whatever you runs on your laptop uh, you can just go in the, and move here and uh, using script mode you can just run it inside of SageMaker uh, if you want more examples um, uh, we have plenty of examples in our repo and again I'll, uh, I'll put a link in uh, the video description okay so that's the end of the second video and in the third video I'll show you um, another training script where instead of using the trainer API we use PyTorch Lightning to train uh, the same model on the same data set. Okay, so keep watching.